the best smartphone you can buy for under $500. Budget phones to the rescue. These devices are roughly $500 or under, and they're more capable than ever before. You won't get all the bells and whistles, but you will save a little money to spend on, I don't know, actual bells and whistles. It's your world. The best iPhone under $500. The iPhone SE 2022. Screen, 4.7 inch, 1334p LCD slash processor. A15 Bionic cameras, 12 megapixel F slash 1.8 with OIS, 7 megapixel selfie slash charging, 20W wired, 7.5W wireless slash weather resistance rating, IP67. If your budget has a strict $500 cap and you're looking for a new iPhone, the choice is easy. The 2022 iPhone SE is the only new iPhone under $500. It's the least expensive way to get into the iOS ecosystem and it'll do the job, but I would strongly encourage anyone looking at the SE to consider whether it's doable to spend a bit more on an iPhone 13, now priced at $599. The important thing to know about the SE is that it comes with a very small, very dated 4.7-inch screen. It's the same size as the one on the iPhone 6, and it's starting to feel cramped in an age when apps and web pages are designed for bigger screens. The SE's big bezels make the device look dated, too, but the usability of a small screen will be a bigger factor over the years to come. The 2022 iPhone SE is a low-cost entry point to the iOS ecosystem. That's the biggest knock against the SE, and it's an important one. But if you're not worried about a cramped screen, then the SE has a lot of upsides. Its A15 processor is the same as the one in the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so performance is very good. There's IP67 waterproofing and wireless charging, both uncommon in this price range, and even though it uses an older 12-megapixel camera, it takes very nice photos and high-quality video clips. The camera has no night mode, which is a curious omission. Basically, every other mid-range phone offers some sort of low-light photo mode, and the phone's processor is certainly up to the task. Apple Gunna Apple. The best Android phone under $500. The Google Pixel 7a. Screen, 6.1 inch, 1080p OLED, 90 Hz slash processor. Tensor G2 cameras, 64 megapixel F slash 1.89 with OIS, 13 megapixel ultra wide, 13 megapixel selfie slash battery, 4,385 milliamp hours slash charging, 18W wired, 7.5W wireless slash weather resistance rating, IP67. The Google Pixel 7a raises the stakes for what you can expect from a mid-range phone. At $499, it's right at the top of what we consider budget, and a bit more expensive than the $449 Samsung Galaxy A54. But with a class-leading camera and flagship-esque extras like wireless charging, it's a step ahead of anything else in the mid-range bracket. One of the seven is major upgrades is a new 6.1-inch, 90Hz display which makes animations and scrolling look much smoother than on last year's 60Hz panel. The 7A uses the same Tensor G2 chipset that's in the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro coupled with a healthy 8GB of RAM. That translates to excellent performance for day-to-day -day tasks and even heavy lifts like gaming. The 7A is tougher than your average midranger, too, with an aluminum frame and an IP67 rating for resistance against dust and dunks in water. Photo by Allison Johnson slash The Verge. The Pixel 7a comes in an eye-catching coral color if you order it from the Google Store. Battery life is good enough to get through a full day with moderate use, but if you add an extended gaming session, you might need to top it off before bedtime. Wireless charging is available, which is extremely rare in the budget phone class. If you already have a wireless charging habit, then the 7a will fit right into your routine. The camera is where the Pixel 7a really shines. It's based around a new 64-megapixel main camera with optical stabilization along with a capable ultra-wide. It's not everything you would get from a flagship camera, no video portrait mode or telephoto lens, but it's reliable even in dim lighting conditions where competitors like the A54 struggle. There are plenty of reasons to consider the 7a, but the best reason not to buy one is the Pixel 8a. It hasn't been confirmed yet by Google, but it's very likely to be released later this spring. If the 8a comes with the same seven years of software support promised for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, that alone would make it worth waiting a little longer. The best budget phone that performs like a flagship, the OnePlus 12R. 
screen, 6.78 inch, 1264 by 2780 120Hz OLED slash processor, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 cameras, 50 megapixel f slash 1.8 with OIS, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, 16 megapixel selfie slash battery, 5,500 milliamp hours slash charging, 80W wired slash weather resistance rating, IP64. The OnePlus 12 are as $500, but it could easily trick you into thinking it costs twice as much. It comes with a very big, very nice screen with refresh rates that go up to 120 hertz and all the way down to 1 hertz, making for a smooth scrolling experience when you need it and savings on battery life when you don't. It's a feature rarely seen on a phone under $800. The 12R is equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which is a generation behind 2024's processor du jour, the 8 Gen 3. But the 8 Gen 2 still whips. It's hard to throw anything at this phone that it can't handle. Less good. The 12 RS IP64 rating, which means it's splash resistant but not fully water immersible, like the Pixel 7a. The 12 are misses out on robust water resistance but delivers on performance. Fast charging is kind of one plus trademark, and the 12 R stays true to the brand with up to 80W fast wired charging in the US. It's up to 100W in other regions. It's nice if you want to charge your phone on a more compressed schedule, like during your morning routine rather than at night. Personally, I'd rather have slower wire charging if it meant I could have a feature that's not present on the 12R, wireless charging. That is, once again, something the Pixel 7a offers. But that's the beauty of the 12R. It knows what it is and what it isn't. And if a low-cost phone with a big, high-quality screen and excellent performance is what you're after, then the 12R is it. The best phone under $400. The Pixel 6a. Screen. 6.1 inch, 1080p OLED slash processor. Tensor cameras, 12 megapixel F slash 1.7 with OIS, 8 megapixel selfie slash battery, 4,410 milliamp hours slash charging, 18W wired slash weather resistance rating, IP67. The Pixel 6a probably isn't long for this world. It was announced in 2022, Google no longer sells it new, and its successor, the 7a, is due for replacement soon. But the 6A is hanging around at third-party retailers like Amazon, and if you can score one for $300, it's a heck of a deal. It's scheduled to get one more OS upgrade and three more years of security updates, which is a decent return on that investment. The phone's biggest asset is Tensor, the custom-built chipset Google used in the company's 2021 flagships, the 6 and 6 Pro. Not only does it enable good overall performance now, but it also means that the 6A will keep up for many years to come. It's only scheduled to get two more OS version upgrades, Android 14 this fall and 15 next year, but it'll receive security patches until at least July 2027. The 6A also comes with an IP67 water resistance rating, so it's still a good all-around bet if you want a budget phone that will last. The 6 as 6.1-inch 1080p OLED offers a standard 60Hz refresh rate. It wasn't too impressive for the phone's original $449 retail price, but for under $400, it's one of the better screens out there. Unfortunately, the fingerprint sensor under the display is also on the slow side. It's not unusable, but it's noticeably a beat slower than the best fingerprint sensors out there. Then again, so is the one on the 7A. The Pixel 6a still offers a good camera for a budget phone. The 6A uses the same 12-megapixel standard wide camera as many Pixel phones before it, which is still a very good camera, especially for the mid-range class. The phone's 4,410 mAh battery is on the small side, but overall battery performance is better than its size would suggest. Other budget phones The 2024 Motorola Moto G Power has all the makings of a good budget phone, including a lovely vegan leather exterior and wireless charging but it's loaded with bloatware of the worst kind, and that alone disqualifies it from our recommendations. We also tested the OnePlus Nord N300, which doesn't make an appearance among our recommendations. The N300 is very affordable at $228, but cuts too many corners to include fast charging. The slightly pricier N30 that snags our recommendation above is a offers much better overall performance.